Welcome, everybody. Um, welcome to this iteration of and this installment of our 12 minutes with an Anta founder uh, format. We do this every first Wednesday of the month, um, where I'll be in a rapid uh, short fire interview. Uh, I'll be interviewing um, one of the founders building uh, building a company with Antler. Um, this week we have Rene here. Reason we do this is um, I think ultimately it is uh, far more interesting to speak to uh, people that have done it uh, and that are building with Antler than it is to talk to me. So um, Rene will be talking a little bit about what he is building with uh, with Neo Carbon and with his co-founder Sylvain. Um, and uh, some really exciting stuff right there. Um, the way that we run this is um, this is a very quick 12-minute format. Um, we will share a recording of this thereafter. We have a, a brief amount of time to talk. Uh, so I'll be I'll be um, interviewing Renee with a few questions. And then we have time at the end for Q&A. Um, so for all of you who are in the audience, please use the Q&A function um, that is here in on Zoom. And already as we are talking, submit questions that you would ask, like to ask Renee. And uh, at the end of the session, I'll be moderating them in. And I think with that, without further ado, uh, Renee, um, great that you're here with us. Uh, welcome. Uh, and I'll let you introduce yourself and uh, NeoCarbon directly. Yeah, Alan, thanks for having me. Um, so I'm Rene, uh, CEO and co-founder of Neo Carbon. Um, from background, industrial engineer uh, from Berlin, worked at Siemens Energy before, then in consulting, and then in yeah, uh, very interesting startup role in Berlin, where I was very close to one of the founders for more than three years, um, raised at this point in time, of course, as an employee, 50 million and was leading a bit more than 100 people. With that and with Antler, of course, I finally felt ready to, to start my own venture, which is yeah, Neo Carbon. And we remove CO2 from ambient air to, to fight the climate crisis. And for that, we develop our own novel reactor technology and we retrofit existing infrastructure in the form of cooling towers. And yeah, developed quite nicely after Antler. So have now the first real machine running, capturing on a ton scale um, already, having yeah, six digits of revenue and now filing also the first patent. So really good progress on business and on, on technology side. Um, it is it is super exciting to 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 follow the the neo carbon story. I mean, um, but but let's talk a little bit about um, how you met Silva, how um, you two became a co-founding team. Um, the two of you, pretty much exactly two years ago, um, uh, met um, and started started talking. Talk us through who who is Silva? How did you know? Kind of. That he was Mr. Right, uh, and that you were you were going to build this together. Yeah, so um, we we basically met on the first day of the of the Antler program. So Silva said exactly what I wanted to hear. Um, so it was a lot about um, the the right values, but also something in climate tech, um, which not, was not like the big thing at Antler. So there are only a few people have been into into this topic. Um, and Silva was super open that he wants to start something it is, and then we really clicked on our values. So actually on the first day already, um, we went for dinner um, together one-on-one, -on -one, um, and we talked for hours and hours, and we clicked on a lot of things, like it was like the, like the perfect match. Um, but then, of course, we did what was kind of smart advice from, from Ellen. Um, we met everyone else in the program as well. So we didn't say, okay, that's a perfect fit, but we rather validated with everybody else this is really um, the perfect fit. And after some weeks, after knowing everybody, which was very, very helpful, also for our later um, development to know everybody in the program because everybody can open doors. Um, we realized, okay, that's the, that's the perfect setup. And mostly really on the, on the personal connection. And of course, a lot of the, let's say, enter program helped us to, to get this connection because with all the different like formats and interactions, um, but also of course, a lot of the social events. And then we decided to work together. We validated a lot of ideas. Um, so we didn't click on the idea directly, but rather on the, let's say, personality, um, so to say. Yeah. Um, and and with that, um, you just mentioned the idea. Um, yours and Sylvain's journey into actually 
the idea of building neocarbon was, uh, let's not say a straight line, um, but uh, it took took a bit getting there. C can you tell maybe a little bit the story of how you ended up with that idea and in kind of how did you know that this was the right idea and that whatever else you were doing before was maybe not the right idea? Um, so actually, even before joining Enter, um, I had like nine months of, of validation time to look into different technologies and very similar for Savas. So we both had actually nine months. We didn't know each other. Um, we both looked into direct air capture before, um, but we, we didn't find our angle. It was actually the first idea I, I presented to one of the um, Entler advisors, and she told me to not do it. Um, and so I, quite early in the program, I, I didn't continue on the idea because I said, how can this be a VC case? How can this scale? Like too many problems. So we validated a lot of other ideas that are more suitable for, for our profiles, also our backgrounds, and which we can potentially build faster. Um, but then through, throughout the process, um, we, we more and more realized, okay, but what do we really want to do? So it, we have been in the program already for eight, nine weeks. So really towards the end of the program, we said, okay, but do we really want to build that and that company, even though maybe we have the, the perfect profile for this? And then we realized, uh, no, we don't want to do this. And, and starting a company is so intense. So if you don't believe 100 or even more than 100% in it, it's it's nearly impossible to, to build something successful. And um, yeah, there we put um, our, our, let's say, good idea in the in the trash and said, okay, we, we want to innovate in direct air capture. Mm -hmm. Actually, we got um, some hints from other people in the program um, to where to look for and how to validate and what else um, to look into. And so we had a very deep dive into duck and thought okay so direct air capture so what what can we do and so over nights and nights of iterations we said okay why not using using existing infrastructure um but from there on of course the idea doesn't stand still so it's not that you have a great idea and now it's it's magic um there's a lot of execution a lot of um like just like getting feedback from the white people and to um kind of develop the idea further and further so it's still of course changing here and there more slightly um, then at the beginning, of course. Yeah. Um, th th that was super, super interesting to watch and, and super interesting to watch kind of how, how you and Silva shifted gear and really went deep into this in a very short amount of time. That was, that was impressive to see. Um, the kind of in kind of looking back on your experience with, with Antler, both during the residency, but also I think we've, we've worked very closely over the last two years, um, um, what, what's been kind of the most valuable thing in your Antler experience to date? Um, that, that's very hard to say because there are, of course, many things. Like, it's very hard to pick one thing. Um, what really helped us, I would say, in the early days have been the coaching sessions with, with Christoph um, in particular. So when he really destroyed our ideas and um, he, he knows himself and he told us many times that it's very easy to destroy early ideas. But then to to handle this feedback, come up with solutions for that. So this was really really helpful. Um, so there you get a lot of lot of guidance, and you also get a very good feeling how to how is it to fundraise because um, when you are with investors, they t ask you all the hard questions. So to have like a training um, on that is is quite helpful because you will get a lot of hard questions from like 100, 200 people. So you should be prepared for this. So this was really helpful. And then, of course, the, um, the doors that Entler opened afterwards. So even for our um, later rounds, people from the Entler network um, come and, and invest into us. So it's not only the, the initial investment, but also the contacts we had. Um, so, yeah, we, we have been validating the idea very early on with a former um, CEO of one of the biggest industrial companies in, in Germany, for example. So so they really try to open those doors um, for you. So this was really, yeah, this was really good for us. And uh, yeah, we enjoyed it a lot. And we're still enjoying it, right? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, is, that is great to hear. Um, and in the audience, we have a lot of people who are thinking um, about joining, um, joining an anti-cohort. What advice would you have for people that are thinking about it? Um, so every journey is, of course, very individually. So you need to find your own way. Um, what helped me was really this clicking with Silva on, on personal values. So um, what to build, but also how we want to build it. So what's the right company culture in that sense? And that's what we realize now, because now we have uh, we have a team, we have employees, and it's about like the, the right le leadership and how to get 
the most out of the company overall and not only my, my let's say, personal performance, um, but rather enabling others. Um, so I would not stress too much about the idea, but rather that your co-founder is really the person you want to start a company with um, because the, the time will be very, very intense. So the past two years um, feel like 10 days, but on the other hand, they feel like 10 years. So it's a very weird um, situation you are in. Um, so rather have the right people um, on your side. Uh, so that's something I would recommend. <laughs> Indeed. Um, that's great. So let, let's let's maybe switch switch it up to, um, we, we have a fair amount of questions coming in from the audience. Uh, so let's make sure that we use the last three and a half minutes um, to answer most of, uh, as many of those as we can. Um, so the first question that came in um, was um, really around kind of the, 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 the funding Post post Antler, both for yourself, but also what you observed from others. I mean, you you raised a lot of money. I mean, it's also capital intensive what you're building. You raised a lot of money very very quickly. I think uh, within a few months after Antler. But kind of taking a step back, what what would you observe there? What are the chances of people getting funding? Um, so I think the chances are quite high because of course you you have you you are kind of prepared for fundraising through to the program. So um, you are. You, uh, you, had, you had a training um, before and you get investor feedback, which is something you normally don't get. So people reject you for whatever reason and you don't know why. But throughout the program, you really learn what are the questions and how they impact basically the, the decision making. So um, I think it was a big advantage. And of course, Antler um, helped us a lot because we never reached out to VCs ourselves because it's always the, the bad, um, like, let's say, moment because then you are a bit and i would say desperate so rather they hear about you they know about you from their network because the network is quite quite small and close together and antler is very well connected so basically antler was more like talking about us and then the vcs reached out to us so i think without that network uh, no one would have ever heard of us um, before so um, i think it was more helpful um, to have it um, than not to have it yeah okay then um next question from Utpal, um how did you validate your idea and how did how would you kind of recommend for others to go about this um like like um don't be shy so really in the like after three days after we had the idea we reached out to the most famous professor in our field and we had the same day an interview with him um of course he destroyed us uh, very heavily um so it was easy we didn't know as much as he knew um, but uh, really don't be shy and don't be afraid of rejection. Just reach out to all the people um, you want to talk to. And uh, like really insane things um, happened to us. Like we worked with really the experts in the field that built the best direct air capture plant in the world, raised 800 million. And part of their like, let's say, very, very high managers then started working with us for several months. So you really, really good things happen if you if you are not shy and just uh, yeah validating it. And of course, it, it's like I said, it's easy to destroy early ideas, but don't be afraid of that. Um, it's it's very valuable. Yeah, uh, could, couldn't couldn't agree more. Um, cash in all the chips and all 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 the social capital that you have extremely quickly, um, and 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 leverage everything you have. Um, uh, one question here from Kai. Um, Rene, very exciting topic. Um, what has been the biggest surprise to you after joining Antler? Something that was different from what you expected, both in the positive and or negative sense? Mm, the thing is, it's, it's both sides. It's the, the intensity. So on the, on the one hand, it's super exciting. On the other hand, it's super demanding. So I didn't expect it to be to be that intense so and that, that's like positive and negative because sometimes you are just totally exhausted and that's normal but it's nice to see also other people that are in a very similar situation so this group spirit really helped okay um great and i think with that um we are up on time um thank you so much renee for taking the time with us uh today um and for talking a little about the exciting stuff that you're doing with neocarbon um Everybody who's um, tuned in here, stay tuned to what Sylvain and Rene are building. There is some really exciting stuff coming up. Um, they have uh, moved a lot um, and are really on a great track to have a massive impact um, with that company. Uh, and stay tuned for news there. Thank you all for joining. Have a great day. <laughs>